she knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're no. all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Go! That's a start. Go! Let me know if I can help with that. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it.
Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Falky! Ourselves, but could we just come back to this one? Trust me. Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Enough when it's time to steal my kitchen. You think I can't class nasty just because I'm in weapon, huh? Better take out that mess or it'll be eyeball city out here. Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. What's your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce? With your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong with you, don't you? Those flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cave. We gotta make our way up there and clear them all. Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Well, you could start by burning off this. That's better. Mm. No grappling up there. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Whoa. Brother, 
Did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane, Captain Guy. No! You just give me this. Now. On it. <clears throat> Turn it. Copy that. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? <laughs> ah, promising. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Once more. Aye, aye. What? If the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it already. Again. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff.
Zenith. No! <laughs> Left side, watch no! it! No! Ah! No! Finally! Now we can ride on up to the forge. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey! Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Now, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. <laughs> Hang on! I smell trouble. creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it, said a two-on-two. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> but bro, no. I've never seen you so... No. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, please. Turn the crank. Let's it does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady. What does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. 
doesn't give a damn for peace. But the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll fin you that cave. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I won't drop. Well, that's fine, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, no? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to. Nature. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
scalp infector almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without <laughs> oh, oh, we got volunteers! <laughs> That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon of Spartan Lars! What hell? Ain't this just like old times here? Couldn't have put it more compellingly myself. Let's see if she can help us get out of here, too. <laughs> <laughs> 